Hey YouTube family, hello again. Last time I did a video of this truck, I was dropping it off at the shop because uh, the transmission had gone out. Well, got it back, got a new transmission in there. There's another Spicer 7 speed or 6 plus 1, uh, most folks refer to it as. Uh, the truck is running good. That transmission, all the slots are close, so you definitely got to get used to it. And of course, being tight, uh, it's taking me a little while to be a little more fluid and smooth uh, with my shifters. But everything is working out right. Today, I'm gonna use this truck. I'm gonna go pick up that 545 rubber tire loader and take it from one drop site and drop it on another. And there you see the new transmission. They got it seated up in there. Now, I don't have a video of the actual swap because I took it to a shop. Uh, it's a couple hours from here, well, maybe about an hour or so from here. So, you know, I wasn't able to run down there and video the installation, removal and installation while they were doing it. But um, everything seems to run fine, all right? No funny noises, no sudden jerks. Uh, trucks pull, pulls okay. Uh, but once I get that uh, loader, see it on the trailer. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We got a couple hills we got to pull. Uh, so we'll see what type of power the truck gets through the ground. One thing about this truck, it holds his air. I can go a couple days being parked, get in, fired up, and it's already got uh, at least 60 pounds of air like it's supposed to. So I have to sit there for 10 15 minutes waiting for the pressure to build up.
it up and headed to the next site um, one thing about working inside the beltway especially DC proper is tight it, it's a challenge getting in and out of the driveway because of that pole right there both coming in and going out you got to swing wide both ways as uh, long as there's no traffic it's not an issue uh, I put all the way across the street over there before I make my turn. Uh, I've got a couple cars coming from my right. Nothing on my left, so maybe all right. Of course, we got somebody right here. It's going to turn in front of me, but here we go. Jump out in front of you in a heartbeat around here. 
and traffic is stopped in a heartbeat around here. So I don't like to get up too close. Load the door. Oh, yeah.
drop site over here near Belvoir. Uh, can't film coming through the gate, so I had the camera turned off. But uh, we'll get it loaded, and then I'll come back and do a video of getting this dirt out of here. Well, she rolled all right. Didn't shift a whole lot. Chains are still tight. So I get one too rough of a ride. That's where she lifted up. She shifted, I mean. Uh, when I tightened it down, it made us went in the bucket and put a little slack in the back. But folks, that's why you always stop. Check your load. Generally, they say 100 miles. But wouldn't be a bad idea to load it up. Hit a couple bumps. After the first couple bumps, check it again. Uh, always best to be on the safe side. All right, let's back row.